Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you another Photoshop tutorial. This time we're going to be using the color splash effect on images to make certain objects in the image dramatic and pop out compared to everything else. And to do this, we're going to be clicking File, Open to import our image. We're going to be using Fruits as an example because it's the easiest to uh, use the color splash effect on. We're going to be using the Kiwi as a center object, so what we're going to do is click the uh, layers if you haven't done so already. Uh, right click and click Duplicate Layer to make a second layer. And now we're going to make this unviewable by deselecting the eyeball on the second layer so you won't be able to see it. Now we can only see our first layer, and what we're going to do is click, uh, select it with our cursor tool and click Image, Adjustments, and click Black and White. And as you can see, the entire layer has become black and white as an effect uh, comes with Photoshop. Now what we're going to do is uh, select the second layer and you know click the uh, Viewable tool or View tool. So you can see the second layer, and what we're going to do is just use the eraser to get rid of all the excess. So we're just going to use a, a little bit of a smaller size. Looks just about good, and we're basically just going to key out and erase all the color from everything but the Kiwi. And once it's done, it should look like this. As you can see, the image has just been uh, just about finished, but as you can see, we made a couple of errors. So what we're going to do is zoom in 200% to view all the extra little details, and as you can see, we cut off a huge chunk part of the a huge part of the Kiwi, so what we're going to do is use the history tool to uh, reveal and or you know just redo that part of the image and make sure it's set to the right uh, size and opacity at 100 and basically just re uh, just go over the part again to redo it instead of having to use the undo tool which may just bring back big chunks that you don't want and we're going to use the smaller size for the, the brush again just to get rid of the smaller edges on the image you know, just to make it more refined as a kiwi that way it won't look weird when we um, edit it out and that looks just about finished uh, you know, a few little things here and there maybe go over the uh, bottom part with the history tool once more. As you can see, we just cut off a little bit of it. Just finish that again. And that's it. Now if we zoom out, we can see the uh, finished product. And that's it. You know, it's very simple. It's very professional looking and pretty artistic. If you want certain objects to pop out more than others, and just drain the saturation all the way down to the bottom for the other, uh, other fruit and stuff like that. And this can be done with uh, any image or anything you want. It's a very simple thing to do. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.